Oi friends, today we're going to be continuing on our FPS game series with Unity and Blender and we're gonna make some player stats so we have some help and you'll be able to expand on this with maybe some maybe you have mana or you have stamina or some sort of thing like that but I'll be showing you how to create health. We're gonna need a few new scripts firstly I want to explain we're gonna have two stat scripts so we're gonna have a character stat script and player stat script now character stat script is gonna be a base class for all the stats so stats for our enemy player and whatever else you might have it's gonna hold functions and variables that any character would have and player stats is gonna have functions and variables that only the player has so let's go ahead and create a new c-sharp script this one I'm gonna call character stats open it up delete the default functions of course first thing we want is some kind of a health variable so let's go ahead and create a public int health and we'll also need some kind of max health so public int max health now you could keep these public but I don't want them to be accessible by other scripts so I'll make it protected And protected makes them private, but accessible from the ch children of this uh, of this script. So scripts that inherit from character stats, and our player stats are gonna inherit from this. You'll see later. But like this, they're not gonna show up in the inspector. So I'll make them serialized field, and this will make them show up in the inspector when we later use it in our player stats. Also, I'll create a serialized field protected boolean is dead this is very self-explanatory next i'm gonna need a script that's gonna change our health now you could check every frame for health and to check if you're dead or not or if health is full or not but i'm gonna create a public void check health and we can call this one only when we when health is changed so when for example when we take damage or heal and here I'll check if health is less than or equal to zero then we're dead so I'll go ahead and say is dead is true and I also want to clamp my health equal to uh, true or sorry health equal to zero and is dead is equal to true so this will make sure that our health doesn't go below zero so for example if we take 50 damage and we only have 20 health our health will go to minus 30 and then when we try to heal for example 20 we would still be at minus 10 so this way we're just clamping health so it doesn't go uh, under zero also I'll check if health is bigger or equal to max health I will set health equal to max health same reason here we don't want our health to go over our max health so for example if we're full health and we heal we want the health to stay on max health just to clean this up a bit I'll create a public void uh, die or something like that and here I'll just set is dead is equal to true and then call die in here this way for example if our player dies we can override this function and maybe display a screen but when our enemy dies it will just you know set is that to true I'll create some more functions I'll create a public void set health to in here I'm gonna have a int health to set to and this is basically just a function that will set our health to the variable that we give it we'll use this whenever we need to take damage or heal so I'll create a public void uh, maybe take damage and in here we'll have a int damage and I'll also create a public void uh, heal for example and I'll also have int heal or heal like that now this set held to doesn't have to be public so I'll just set it to private and this way in here for example in take damage I can go ahead and say create a new int that's uh, health after damage and I'll set it equal to health minus damage and then I'll set health or sorry health 
equal to health after damage. So we're gonna, you know, deal damage and then set health equal to that. You could, you could do it like this, but thankfully we created this set health too. And now I can use set health too. And I can, use, I, can, I can set it to health after damage. And this is fine, but we also want to check and clamp our health. So in set health too, I will say check health. And now each time we take damage, it's gonna set health and also check it right here. Just like that. And we have to do the same thing for the heal. So I'll create an int health after heal, which is equal to health plus heal. And then I'll set health to he health after heal. Okay, now we have take damage and heal that will also clamp our health. And this is pretty much what every character is gonna need. So no matter if you're the player or the enemy, you're gonna have to die some way and you're gonna have to take or heal some damage at some point. Okay, so we have our base script. Now I'm gonna go into Unity and create my uh, player stats. So new C sharp script and I'll call this one player stats. Let's drag this onto our player just so we don't forget. And let's open up player stats. Now I said this is gonna be a child of the character stats and a way you can do that is just remove this mono behavior and set this to character stats. And now it's gonna inherit from that, it's gonna have all the same variables and functions as the character stats. And if you go into Unity, you can see we have our health, max health, and is that on our player stats that derive from character stats. But if we play, you can see our health and max health stay on zero, and we don't want that. So I'm gonna go back to my character stats, and in here I'll create a public void init variables and this is a function that will initialize all our variables. So for example, I'll set my max health maybe to something like 100. And then I'll go ahead and set health to max health. Just like this. So we're going to initialize our max health and then set our health to that. And we're also going to set is dead equal to false. Just so we're not dead when we spawn. Okay, now we can call this in our start method. So I'll go ahead and create a private void start and say init variables and this is gonna uh, get called each time we start the game so now our health is gonna get set if you click play you can see our health is now a hundred and our max health is also a hundred and is that is false okay so now we have our stats in there I want to display in some way I'm not gonna show you how to create a progress bar but I can do that if you guys want so leave a comment so I'll go in my hierarchy, right click UI and I'll create an image. And this is going to be our HUD. And you can see in the game view how the HUD looks. Now for the canvas to work properly, click canvas, go UI scale mode and scale with screen size and then set your resol resolution here. Uh, 1920 by 1080 for me and match with height. Okay, and now this HUD image is uh, gonna have to cover our whole, whole screen. So I can set here in the rec transform Hold Alt and click this and it's gonna stretch along the whole screen no matter how big it is, you can see. And I'll just uh, hide this. I'll go ahead and uh, set the alpha down here to zero so we can't see it. And then in that, I'm gonna create a UI image for stats. And I wanna place this in the corner, maybe left corner. So I'll go ahead and hold Alt and click this left cor corner down here so it sets it there. And now you can change the width and height. I'm gonna set my width to something like 300 and set my position on the x-axis to half that, so 150. And my height to 200 and position on the y to 100. Just so it's centered this way. Okay, we can hide this or maybe like give it a nice gray color. But I'm gonna hide it. Well, not right now, because we have to add some text. So go stats, UI, and I'm gonna add a text. And this is going to be our uh, health or I'll call it current health text. And we want to place this somewhere around here. If you press F on your uh, in your scene view, you can focus onto a object. So make sure you have your current health text selected, press F, and now you can place it wherever you want in the scene view. I'm gonna set my height to something like uh, 100 and my width to like 125. 
I'll set the paragraph alignment to middle and middle and I'll change the font size to something bigger so like 34 and I'll set this to 0 and 0 and 0 just like that oh sorry and you can change the scale however big you want maybe you can even change the font style to bold if you want I'm gonna keep mine on normal so this is gonna be our current health so I'll go ahead and move it to the left a bit okay I'm gonna duplicate this current health text and I'm gonna call this max health text and we're gonna move it to the side here so in one we're gonna display our current health and in the other one our max health I'm gonna duplicate this again and I'm gonna call this like uh, middle or split or something like that and I'm gonna place it right here in the middle and I'm gonna change this to this I don't know how that's called so it displays it like that I'm gonna change my stats now to uh, be transparent and I'm gonna change the colors on all of these so left click and shift left click here and I'm gonna change the color to white I, I just think that looks quite fine I'm gonna go ahead and create a new script call it uh, player HUD and this is gonna control all of our HUD I'm gonna open it and we want to get reference to the text so we can set it to our health in order to do that you will have to set up here using unity engine dot UI and this will allow you to create a text variable so I'll create a serialized field private text and I'll call this one current health text and I'll create a new one Oh, sorry. Private text max health text. And I want to set these, so I'll need a reference to the uh, player stats. So I'll create a new variable. This one will be private player stats. And I'll call this one stats. Now I need to get reference to it, and since our player HUD is going to be attached to the same object as the player stats. So let me just drag my player HUD onto our player. We can just get component of player stats from this object. So let's create a private void start. And in here, I'm going to say stats is equal to get component player stats. And that will find the player stats that we're looking for. Now, just to organize this a bit, again, I will create a private void get uh, references. And in here I'll set stats equal to get component and then just call get references just to keep this clean and if we need more references later on maybe for like ammo and shit uh, we can do it in, in this function okay now I'll create a private void or sorry this will need to be public so public void and I'll call this one update health and in here um, I'm gonna give it uh, a couple of conditions here. I'm gonna have a int for current health and I'm gonna have a int for max health, right? Okay, and in here I'll simply say current health text dot text is equal to current health to string because this is a int and we need to convert it to a string. And I'll say max health text is equal, or sorry, max health text dot text is equal to current, sorry, max health dot to string and now whenever we call this function it's gonna set our current and max health to these two variables that we give it sorry I fucked up for some reason we don't need to get our stats in here so you can just go ahead and delete both the get references and the start and this variable player stats my bad completely we just need this and now in our player stats we can go ahead and create a variable for our player HUD so private player HUD and I'll call this HUD and again in private void start I'll just get the component from the player game object so I'll go HUD is equal to get component player HUD and now it's gonna find that object on the player again I'll repeat the same steps as I did wrong there uh, so private void get references and here I'll just set this and then call that up here get references just to keep it clean okay but we're still not calling our update health here and I want to call it each time the health changes and thankfully in our character stats we have a, a function called check health which is already called whenever we take 
damage or heal in set health too, as you can see. So I could update health in here. So I would need to override this function. So what you can do is go public virtual void check health. And this will allow us to override it. So if you now go to player stats, we can say uh, public override void check health. And now it's gonna in here do everything that it does in the character stats, but we can add on to it. So I'm gonna say HUD dot update health. And for the health, I'll give it my current health and max health. Or sorry, not current health, I'll need to give it my health. So now whenever we call check health, it's gonna update the HUD as well. Back in Unity, we'll have to set some variables. So you can see in our player HUD, we need two texts for the current and max health. So I'll drag in my current health for the current health text and max health text for the max health text. And for some reason, our init variable for character stat doesn't get called. So we'll just have to go back to our player stats and call init variables as well. So it calls that method from the character stats. And right now, if we click play, it's gonna initialize them and it's gonna update our health down in the lower left. So I'll just go back quickly to my player stats and I'll create a private void update. Just to test this, I'll say if input dot get key down, key code dot t for testing, I'll say take damage and I'll take 10 damage each time I press t, just so I can check if this works properly. Okay, now if I press t, you can see it goes down. And when it goes to zero, is dead is checked to true. So that's pretty much it. We created a current health. Uh, if you want me to create a progress bar for this, just say so, and I'll create a video on how to do that. But this was super simple, easy for beginners. And hopefully this helped you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.